by applying optimization techniques, food banks can now provide food assistance to even more people in the Netherlands. My name is Maike Reusken and I work for the Zero Hunger Lab at Tilburg University in the Netherlands. What I like about this work is that I get the chance to uh, contribute to one of the sustainable development goals uh, set up by the United Nations, but at the same time being intellectually challenged every day. There will always be infinitely many things to explore with mathematics, for example, in the field of sustainability. My research is directed at optimization and that is the process of finding a best solution or a so-called optimal solution from a um, large set of possible solutions. It is like uh, finding the best recipe for a cake uh, or the fastest route to a destination. One of the organizations I work with is the Association of Dutch Food Banks. And this is an organization that is run by volunteers uh, and distributes food to approximately 150,000 people in the Netherlands every year. And together with uh, my fellow research at the Zero Hunger Lab, I study several burning questions that pop up at this organization. Uh, for example, uh, how many people will need food assistance next week, next month, or maybe next year? But also, um, how do we get the food that would otherwise be wasted to the people that need it most? This requires dealing with several uncertainties. Uh, for example, uh, how much food, but also which kinds of food are uh, donated in the future. During COVID, we also helped them with the logistics of getting the food to the people in need. Because of the high impact of COVID on society, the food banks expected a large increase uh, in people needing food assistance. And we actually studied whether a supply chain could facilitate this increase and where there would be problems we actually replicated reality into a mathematical model. This model helped identify problems in transport storage and the stream of donations. And it suggests specific investments that could increase uh, the competence of the supply chain so that an additional 32% of people could be helped. And it was really fantastic to see that the food banks in the Netherlands followed up on these results and that they are now, as a result, able to help even more people today. So these models, uh, these optimization techniques that we used to help the Dutch food banks are now published in academic journals. Uh, there are 74 countries with food banks in the world and they can all now access the, these results and insights and implement it in their own practices. The food banks in Canada actually heard about this and so I also got to implement our optimization techniques to optimize their operations. And it is this combination that I love so much. On one hand, discovering new interesting optimization techniques, but at the same time uh, getting a step closer to reaching the goal of zero hunger in the world. <laughs>